how to create product page in Shopify using PageFly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how you can create a product page on your Shopify store using the PageFly integration. So let's get into it. Now, PageFly is a platform that enables you to create multiple different types of pages. They have so many amazing templates for you to pick out from. Plus, they also have such easy editors where you can easily edit the pre-existing templates into anything you like. They have so many creative templates and it can really elevate your Shopify store because a lot of the times all Shopify stores start to look the same because everyone is using the basic Shopify page templates and using a integration like PageFly can really help your business. So let's get into building our product page. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings on the bottom left, go into your apps and sales channels, click on Shopify app store, and you're just going to search for PageFly. And then you will have this application called PageFly landing page builder. You will click on add application and once this application has been added i have previously uh you know added this so that's why i already have an account it's going to ask you to create an account it's available for free so once you create your account this will be your page fly dashboard now once you are on your page fly dashboard you're going to click on pages on the left side of your screen then you can go on ahead and view any of the pre-existing pages you have created. Obviously we're starting new, so we will click on create from a template on the right side of our screen. I will click on continue. Now it's going to show me the very large template gallery that they have, and you can really use so many of these templates. There are so many options available, but we are looking to build a product page. So what you want to do is you have your categories on the left side, and you just want to select product page. So you have a bunch of different templates for product pages. And let's say I want to create a product page and I will just browse all of these to see which one fits my, you know, products the best. So I think we would want this one. Uh, this is like a Valentine's Day themed product page. This is especially helpful if you're trying to run a promotion, if you're trying to, you know, promote a specific line of pr products, a specific collection. So you guys can see this one is another great example. So celebrate your day with the best from the best. And I can click on preview over here just to, you know, preview how these pages are looking like, what they are. And let's say I want to preview this one as well. And uh, let's say I just want to view all of these a little bit. So I'm just going to wait for this preview to load up and then I will make my final decision. You have quite a few different templates to look out for. So you don't have to make a uh, decision right away. And I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to click on this template or maybe I'm going to go with the Halloween one. I'm not sure. There are so many options that it gets so difficult because all of them look so amazing. But I think I'm going to select this one and click on select template. And now this will open up the page fly drag and drop editor. It's relatively simple to use. So we're just going to wait for this entire template to be loaded completely. And it's just loading up all these sections for us. And you guys can see over here, we have product details, we have selection elements. Now, the first thing you want to do is add the products that you want. So you guys can see you have product details in your general settings, select your product source. So from here, you're actually going to go into page settings, you have regular page, or this is going to be a product page. And this is going to be called sale. Now, after that, you guys can see over here, we have page assignment in the page assignment it says there are no products selected so you're going to click on edit product and this will open up the page assignment so you can click on all products and we will open up Deezus to select our specific product so i'm just waiting for this to be completed and you're going to list all your products and i'm just going to wait a couple of seconds and I'm just going to wait for my products to load up because I think I might have removed the products. That's why I'm having some issues, but I am just going to import and push these to my Shopify store. And you want to make sure that you add, you know, in your page, you add your products. So go into page settings and then you have your product section and you want to add the products as they are. 
but after that you guys can see on the left side of your screen you even have you know product list so you can scroll and add this over here and then it says content product source uh you can click on all products and then items per row the loading mode exclude these specific ones and then you have your product source like so and once we have that we have a little documentation as well but i'm just going to skip that for now and i'm just going to wait up for our products and i'm just adding all my products in this specific section obviously you want to select the ones that you want to add but we're just going to continue on over here simply for the sake of the tutorial now you guys can see in my page assignment i can have this new section it's called page assignment i can click on all and then you can select the products that you want to uh you know display for that specific page uh below that you have some other customization options you have your little sale items so you're obviously going to customize that now uh i'm just going to skip ahead because we want to you know actually learn how to set this up on shopify so let's say we have this little section and we want to move it around a little so you can actually duplicate it like so if you want but I don't want this as at all. So I just want like a basic section. So I'm just going to delete some of this text over here. And we can click on add new section over here. And we have multiple different pre-existing sections as well. So you can use a pre-existing section to promote as well. But we are going to use a simple little section like this. And then you have your guarantee. Then we have this little row box that we can move as well. But I'm just going to continue on like so and we're going to delete this long section and I'm going to click on save. Now, once you click on save, you're going to name your page and once you have saved your page, you can actually see uh, a preview of how the page will look like. Obviously, I haven't published it, so it's not going to appear. But once you have saved it and you think everything looks good, then you're going to click on publish. And you have multiple different device views you have laptop views you have tablet views you have mobile views so once you have you know gone through all of those and all of those look good then you're going to publish it and then it will actually appear on your shopify store so i'm just waiting for the publishing to be completed and even then you will be able to even see it on the pages section of your uh, actual shopify dashboard once the page uh, has been completely published. So you're going to be able to manage it from your Shopify dashboard as well. It's simple, easy and effective and can help you in building gorgeous pages with a simple template and a simple editor. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.